Alice and Paul Lefman sold a Picasso masterpiece to finance their flight from the Nazis in the 1930s. Decades later, could their great-grandniece void the sale based on the circumstances surrounding the transaction? That's the question in Zuckerman v. Metropolitan Museum of Art. The Lefmans, who were German Jews, owned a Picasso painting called The Actor. Following the Nazi rise to power in Germany, new laws forced the Lefmans to sell their home, their business, and most of their other assets to non-Jewish Germans for nominal compensation. During this time, the Lefmans arranged for an acquaintance to keep the painting safe in Switzerland. In 1936, the Lefmans rejected an offer from a French art dealer to purchase the painting. The next year, the Lefmans fled to Italy. Close ties between the Italian fascist government and the Nazis made it apparent that the Lefmans wouldn't be safe in Italy for long. Needing to flee again, the Lefmans began to investigate selling the painting to fund their escape. In 1938, the Lefmans sold the painting to a different art dealer for $12,000. That same year, the Lefmans entered Switzerland with a temporary residence permit. In 1941, they emigrated to Brazil. After the war, the Lefmans returned to Switzerland for the remainder of their lives. The painting was loaned to New York's Museum of Modern Art in 1939. An American buyer purchased the painting in 1941 for $22,500 and donated it to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York in 1956, where it remained. Laurel Zuckerman was the Lefman's great-grandniece and administrator of Alice's estate. In 2010, the museum rejected Zuckerman's request for the painting's return. Zuckerman sued the museum in federal district court, seeking return of the painting, damages for conversion, and a declaratory judgment that Alice's estate was the painting's rightful owner. The museum filed a motion to dismiss. The district court considered the museum's motion.